Okay, Temesia, we're back. I'm so ready to get into this next one. I think I've just about digested what we've spoken about so far. Life with Liliana and friends. So just a reminder to our viewers, we're going through OCDI. If you did not catch that, please go back and watch the first live, the live session that Temesia did on the page. So we've talked about order. We've talked about concentration. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to talk about discipline. And you know, mm -hmm. Timothy, uh, up front, I just want to say this can be a very sensitive subject. Very. Um, because I think generally the first place we go to, especially if you're in Fiji and the yes. world up the way we are, like discipline yes. just means the belt or the sasa oh. or something physical. Yeah. Um, and you know, sadly, we have, you know, been up in case with seen a lot of cases that go into the extreme and mm. so now in Fiji we are not allowed to discipline physically right. in that way right. but what is this discipline about so I know a lot of us have bad experience with the with discipline here in the Pacific yeah. and you know when we're trying when we're talking about discipline with our children you know the rewards come in and which is good which is good you know having rewards there's a time and place for that reward and what I'd like to say really is that we focus more on them disciplining and right. the reward comes as a reason for them to have listened to you. And so, you know, we, we take away the sense of the reward being a good thing, but something to control your child. Yeah. I hope that makes sense, Liliana. <laughs> Um, you know, and uh, rewards are beautiful. It's important. You know, it's important to have rewards because your child knows there's milestones and they're growing and they're developing. But I know sometimes we can use discipline in a way where our main focus is to how to get your child to behave. And then the reward is just something to throw in there to make sure that ah, they did it. Okay, here's your cookie. You were listening. <laughs> and so that comes in. Eh? So when we hear the word discipline, it usually is connected to behavior, whether in schools or at home. The idea of discipline generally focuses on the question, how do we get children to behave? I know some of us do timeouts. We do putting your name on the board. That happens in classrooms, right? Your children probably share with you. Oh, mom, my name was on the board today. <laughs> um, uh, being sent to the office, losing recess time. Um, you know, oh, you are talking, you, you, you stay in this recess time, you're sitting in. Sometimes we have the, you know, spanking your child. And that's fine. That's fine. But spanking sometimes becomes the main focus than really disciplining your child that we're going to talk about more. We have the stickers, money. There's some things I wrote down here. Being in the red. I don't know if you've heard of that, Liliana, but no, that's actually a new it. thing now. Okay. Um, it's a new thing where parents are, are integrating into their child's daily life, which okay. can sound good and can sound bad sometimes. So what they say is, oh, you're in the red. And then, um, oh, you're in the green now. You're doing good. Okay. And, uh, uh, you're in the yellow. You're in the yellow. You're getting close to the red. <laughs> Um, I don't know for you, but for me, that would sound really frustrating yeah. if I was a child. Like, oh, no, that's oh exactly. my gosh. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah, place. exactly. It's like, well, hey, I boil the kettle. My mom tells me I'm in the red. I want to go outside. I'm in the red. I don't know what else I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. um, and so, you know, that can really bring in a lot for a child. <laughs> But Timothy, I think it yes. depends on the child because, you know, like you mentioned, yes. earlier, different children are different. Like different, some exactly. Well to them. So when yes. you talk about discipline, is that yes. an important factor to consider? Because I've noticed my two children, yes. when the, the way I discipline Gideon, who's younger, has been yes. very different from Melanie. And I, I struggle to figure out why, why isn't this working? Right. Children are different. For sure. Yeah. Children yeah. are different. I know, you know, we hear that a lot with the children, with especially girls and boys growing up. Girls uh, develop a bit faster as infants and as toddlers. And when they go into um, early childhood development, yeah. right. you know, they tend to speak faster. Right. The boys take a bit more time talking. Um, and then when we're talking about discipline, you know, yeah. Every child is different. For most of you that have four to five children, you, you've seen your child in different stages. Like, okay, this area of discipline is not working for this child. I need yes. to find another tactic. And so you, you're constantly learning that too. 
And so the discipline that we're really trying to focus on here, um, I'd like to read this for you, Liliana, and I, yeah, I'm just pulling it up. Here it is. It seems to him at this stage, and now this is by an incredible uh, doctor, Dr. Maria Montessori, okay. that really brought in the OCDI. So she's right. actually the at founder. The Montessori schools. Yes, Montessori. yes. Okay. Um, and, and, and so like I was sharing, the OCDI really comes strongly from the Montessori. Yes. Um, but one thing I've noticed because I do work in different pedagogies and with the different learning approaches, OCDI has strong right. pillars in every learning approach. And so it's not really just Montessori, but I've seen it in, in a lot of approaches and I've wow. seen it develop a lot with parent education. Um, and that's something I do run with uh, the private sectors here in, uh, in Fiji or in the Pacific. And um, so that's why I'm pulling this out from, and, I, and this is something I've really fallen in love with that I wanted to share with you. And it says, it seems to him at this stage, so this is her observing, a particular vital matter that everything in his environment should be kept in its accustomed place and that the actions of the day should be carried out in their accustomed routine. Nature endows a child with a sensitiveness to order. It is a kind of inner sense that distinguishes the relationships between various objects rather than the objects themselves. Such an environment provides the foundation for an integrated life. And so that discipline that we're talking about here, this is where the order comes in, that sense of order. That's where that... Um, we haven't touched I, that's where that concentration, that consistency comes in, yeah. that plays a vital role in being disciplined. So yeah. when we're talking about <clears throat> that example with a child having chores with the rubbish um, yes. taking out every day, there's that, there's that accustomed routine being built into right. your child. And so when we're not strictly talking about, okay, the red zoning an area you're not allowed to come in here that's not the discipline we're talking about here we're talking yeah. about the yeah we're talking about the discipline of that that independence that we're going to talk about that plays a vital role here on how they on how they take on their daily challenges and being disciplined yeah. with them and not coming out of those habits we were talking about concentration with the mob and we we're talking about sequence and yes. discipline comes in and plays a vital role, how they mop the floor. If we're talking about their schoolwork, I know I was tutoring a student um, today. As I was talking, the dad was saying, you know, my daughter, the way she's with you, she's not like that with me when I'm teaching English. What is happening? And that's because, um, not in a negative way, but that's because when I come in, I've already set up, a bound set up boundaries for her. I've given her a sense of order. I've given her concentration time and I've given right. her that discipline. And so she knows right after we do our afternoon talk, we go into our verbs. Right after verbs, we do our activities. After activities, she knows we do our afternoon talks where we say goodbye to each other. So right away she knows ah, class is almost over. She's aware of that. And so she's already disciplined her with that time schedule. And so right away, she knows, oh, okay, Master Temisia, class is finishing now. Okay, so I just finished this and I'm done. So do I have to complete all my work? Yes, you do. So she completes her work and I'll leave. I'll go, I'll log off and I'll get a call from her grandmother. And she'll say, oh, Sophia is still working. So that discipline, it's only been four weeks, Liliana. I've been with this little girl, only a month. And right away, that discipline is slowly coming into place. And right away, Liliana, the rewards don't have to come into place. Slowly, the, the stickers I've moved away from, um, giving her those all those little, those knickknacks that come along. Oh, you're not listening to me. I'm going to have to stop you from going on your tablet at this time. That slowly goes away. That's not even mentioned. So right away, this little girl, Liliana, she won't rebel on me. Where she'll be like, oh, Master Timothy is just telling me to do all these things. I'm going to do this. And you catch your child just rebelling and rebelling. And it's because yeah. you haven't created that discipline space where your child can, can have that concentration and that, that control, self-control of, yeah. of their own emotions. You know, sometimes like, yeah. oh, why are you looking like that at me? Why, why are you raising your eyebrows? When I'm telling you what to do, you better listen to me. 
you know, in your chest, like, oh, why are you breathing like that? Stop breathing like that, you know? And there's this whole tension. But if you bring in that discipline from the beginning where they control their, their anger, all those things, Liliana, fade away. You stop right. spending money on stickers. You stop spending time on, on that cycle. I don't know if you felt that cycle, that cycle of um, negative discipline where like, yeah. hey, you better do that. Or otherwise, you're not going to be playing video game tomorrow. Come on, do it now, do it now. And right away, um, you'd remove that discipline. I hope that makes uh, sense. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, so this is, I don't know, if you could hear my brain mm. moving around, you'd be really noisy. Yeah. So first of all, what I'm picking up here is discipline is, is different from order. Because yes. order, we kind of set that sequence and that order. Yes, um, yes. But concentration and discipline is from the child. Right? Yes. It's, it's, it's initiated from them. From the child. Is that so independence we, that we'll talk yes. about? Yes. So we need to give them the freedom. Yes. To bring, to like, to exp to understand that for themselves. So yes. the concentration is, um, it's, now it sounds really cool to me because I, now I'm linking right. concentration with creativity. Yes. You know, that's like a creative space. So I like thinking yes. of it like that. And when I think about it that, like that, I want to give my son more space to make these crazy sounds and these yes. crazy words. Um, but also when you're talking about discipline, it makes me think of consistency. So we're talking about discipline in that sense, right? In that sense. Like a consistency. So, like exactly. It. So you yeah. can come away, you can come away from pulling out the rod every minute. Yes. You're disciplining. Yes. From coming away from um, threatening your child. Yes. Okay. You're coming away from those negative disciplinary actions. Right. And what you're doing is you're giving your child that concentration that yes. that self-control to make their own decisions because their consequences will be a ripple effect of their decision so yes. when you give that that discipline for them they they will slowly they will slowly know okay if i do this mom is going to really do this to me yeah. so i am not going to do that and so you're slowly bringing in that area that environment for your child to to be yes. accustomed to a routine where they're not just disciplined for the sake of getting their work done but they're yes. accustomed to being disciplined for their everyday life in yes. every situation yeah so i i can yeah. see how now yeah. you are starting to push into independence yes 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 yeah, so now what you what i'm getting is that mm. the child is now becoming more in control like yes. giving them the freedom so yes. when, when, if we use this uh, little girl as an example, because I'm yes. thinking, okay, how come she's doing, like, if I think about myself, I'm quite, right. I can be quite disciplined in exercising, mm -hmm. but I am like that because I like that it gives me a lot of energy. Like I've experienced the benefits. I like right. that I can fit into my clothes and not yes. have to keep on buying <laughs> so those sort of things. So I yes. do it for a reason. Like I don't do, and I don't think anybody does anything just for the sake of it. No, like exactly. There's a reason behind it. And so I think we underestimate kids sometimes. We do. So like, yeah. Very so much. Like, okay, we need to come in and make sure that they're doing this, 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 so they don't get into trouble. So if we yes. go back to this young girl, because I was thinking, why, how is she so disciplined? Like how... What what did she did she realize that she just enjoyed it like the same yes. thing? I mean, she enjoyed the benefits, but yes. what I what I think might have happened also is that if if we as parents leave our children to do what they've committed to do, mm -hmm. if she didn't do that, you would have come in and said, "We agreed to do this. This was yes. your responsibility." Yes. But if we had stepped in as parents and been like, "Hey," Do this thing quickly because you're this and they're like, oh, yes, fine. This is it. But when you leave them and they realize, mm -hmm. okay, mom and dad are not here with me to like, yes. no one's going to be with you when Master Timothy comes. Right. So that brings out that natural, that natural, the tendency. natural discipline. Yes. Like Dr. Yes. Montessori mentioned that yes. we have that natural place for yes. order. And I think yes. discipline as well. That's the way we are created. But the exactly. problem is we parents get in the way. We right? get in the way. We micromanage. Yes. yes. And, um, then and we Liliana, yeah. and the sorry, reason. I forgot to mention, you will start to notice your child reveal themselves. Have you yes. ever noticed okay. where you have conversations and you're in someone, uh, maybe your child goes for a sleepover? Yes. And, you know, and their parents goes, oh, your son is just the best. 
all the time. Did the dishes for us the next morning. And you're just like, what? He never does that at home. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, that's so good to hear. And you get in the car and you're just like, oh, how come you do the dishes there? You never do the dishes at home. <laughs> Yes. you know and right away that that sense of order you're breaking that that comes back in right. um, and then I just wanted to share that because Dr. Montessori honestly if this doctor was still alive I'd love to meet her yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I know her she's like amazing yes. um, and, and Liliana this is what she said I thought it was so cool um, she says as far as child psychology is concerned we are more so the parents we are more prejudiced than wise up till now, we have wanted to dominate children externally yeah. with the rod instead of guiding them inwardly like human beings. I love it. This is why they have passed close by us. They've passed, you know, surpassed us without our being able to get to know them. But if we set aside the tricks, those discipline things that we, those yeah. discipline actions that we take, which we have tried to ensnare them and the violence which we took for discipline, they reveal themselves to us. Wow, look at that. How powerful is that when the child yes. reveals themselves? Because it honestly scared me when um, I didn't know my students um, yes. because I've worked with so many children and when I'm observing them from my classroom and I'm watching them outside on the playground and I'm like, why is that child never like that with me? They're very loud outside, but as soon as, as, soon as they're with me, it's like they're quiet and they're just closed up. And so, you know, you, they're, they're not themselves in front of you. I don't know. Maybe some parents are out there and you're like, man, that's so true. My child is a different person, but maybe your child is a different person with you and right. is their true selves when they're with other people. It's because of those, wow. those, those and we've ensnared that, that discipline. Yeah. That, and then that we don't give them the freedom. We don't yes. give them the freedom. Back to the foundation, freedom and discipline. <laughs> Boy, let me see. I'm seeing. You know what? When we one big thing as adults that we find, yes. we get to yes. like our thirties, even sometimes even forties, maybe sometimes Ooh. even older than that. We realize yes. who are we? What do exactly. we like? What what don't we like? Like you yes. realize you come to this point where you just don't know. And I yes. think that when you're talking to me, it sounds like it stems from there. This is like from it time does. We brought up. We were kind it of does. put in a you know, okay, do this and fit in here and, and just just do this. And so exactly. when you're going to be like, okay, what do I like and don't like? And that causes a lot of problems because we it cannot does. reconcile. It kind does. of like, I feel like I really like this, but then I feel like I really like art, but then I studied accounting and then I, you know. I and I'm not allowed, things. right? And we get that. Yeah, I'm yeah. not allowed to feel happy when I'm doing art. Like, <laughs> it's a project. It's not meant to make you, it's not a therapeutic project <laughs> man this has like long-term impacts it does it? it does no it's, wonder you, you believe so much in it no wonder you just i do so much and and you know liliana and it's it you know and you don't want to bring it up you know to all the parents I, you know that are that are watching please don't bring this up like a topic with the family like hey you know sense of order no keep this to yourself and use it as a technique that you're going to bring into the home yes. you know involve your husband make it a project work together and be like listen we're going to do we're going to try this let's see if it actually works and yes. for sure it will work i know it will but once yes. you see it the outcomes Start to take notice, you know, I, yeah. I don't know if you're, if you're a journal kind of person, journal it down, you know, watch those little developments. Yeah. Or if you just want to do a little happy dance, Liliana, when you see your child yeah. do something, you know, I mean, this is the best time, right, Liliana? We're all on lockdown. All your children are at home for the next few months. That's right. This is the, I mean, we're in August, September, October, November, December, you're four months. Um, so, you know, it takes three months to change your habits. So if you're hoping for 2022, this is yes. the time. <laughs> we have to change our own habits. Yes, yes. So It's yours so too, think, exactly. Yeah. So I think just to end this part up, I think one key thing that's coming out is that we really need to observe. We need yeah. to, you know, just take a step back and observe. Yeah. And, and don't take it personally. <laughs> don't take it personally. That's yes. good. Okay, can we take another short break, Timothy? Thanks so much. Let's just start this one as well. Speak to you shortly.